I'm Chef Jim with Coast Alabama College, and today I will show you how to make an Edelweiss tort from Switzerland. We're going to be using a sheet cake. So I'm gonna, sheet cakes are cold. I'm gonna run a knife around the outside, put parchment paper on top, put another sheet pan on top, give it a flip. Good, it should pop right out. And now we're gonna peel the parchment paper up that was in the pan when it baked. So we've got our cake. I'm gonna put a cutting board on top. And give that a flip. Now I want the skin side up. Whenever you're rolling a jelly roll, you should be using a sponge cake. What you want is a skin side and an open side. If you put your jam on this side and you roll it, the other side will open. If you put this on the other side, it will crack. So that's usually a problem with ginger rolls. All right, once we got this, we're gonna cut this into strips. So if you just go down to your local hardware store, right, and you get it from Home Depot or Lowe's, they've got these in oak. You can use a serrated knife and just cut your layers. All right, and that pot's for the cook, right? So next step, step is we can buttercream these. You just want a thin layer of buttercream. We're going to do a raspberry buttercream. Uh, the original cake actually had raspberry jam in it. That's up to you. You want to do each strip or you want to try to do it all at one time. I'm going to try doing it all at one time. Hopefully I have enough jam here. Oh, I mean, uh, buttercream. Thin layer. So now that I've got gloves on, we're going to, we're going to build our jelly roll. So the first one, you just kind of roll it. Stand it in the center. Okay. Now if you want to cut this in half, if you feel as though that works for you to work, but you're just going to bring it around. This back. And guess what? My cake is all the same height. That's amazing too. I think after this one, I'm going to be really close to my nine inches. So it's not going to take all. I think with this final one, I'm probably going to be at close to nine inches. All right, now we're going to buttercream. Put a buttercream on the top. Short strokes, bring it around. This is going to be a lot easier than last week. Last week we had like a cream cake. And cream, if you work it too much, it turns into butter. So this week, we don't have that issue. This week, nice and easy. On the sides of the cake. And again, we're putting it on top of the buttercream, bringing it around, keeping your spatula straight up and down. And this one, it's only going to be a light coating because you're going to have almonds on the side anyway. So if you see the cake, it's going to be okay. It's just going to keep the almonds to stick to the cake. If you want, clean your knife off, come back with a hot knife. That'll work too. But make sure you keep the spatula straight up and down, bring it all the way around. And now, you know it, we're gonna cut it off so it's square. Make sure it's good and flat. We're there. So next we're going to work with our marzipan. There's going to be a marzipan top on our Edelweiss. Soften the marzipan. And now we're going to roll it out. Just like you do pie dough, right? Alright, so our marzipan's rolled up. That can kind of dry a little bit, kind of stiffen up a little bit for me. 
Next stage, I think we're going to do what we did last week, and that is, so if I cut around this all the way, I'm going to try this. I've never done this before, but in theory, it should work. Wipe all the buttercream off. We're going to make this our stencil. So I just put that down, like that. Get my paring knife. And I'm probably going to turn it and I'll start here and hold it here. And I actually would be in like an eighth of an inch all the way around. Now that's a pretty good idea, see? Pull this right up. That worked. Put a little bit of powdered sugar on our board. Slide this underneath. Make sure it's not sticking. Make sure it moves. And you can just slide this right on top of the cake. First thing I'll do is take a little bit chocolate fondant. Again, don't fill the bag up one halfway, and it's just going to go a long way. All right, so now I have a, a spatula, and we're going to put some of this fondant on top and get to stop dripping. And we're going to spatula this all over the top of the cake. Oh, need more. And you can see, I just made a mistake there. That's why we're doing the almonds on the side of the cake later. It's gonna cover all of our mistakes, right? And just start in the middle and work your way out. Getting dizzy. All right, you have a skewer, and you're just gonna work from the middle this way. Come back. It's gonna give you a design on your cake. Almost like a spider web. Pick it up. Whoa! I'm gonna put our almonds. There we go. Almonds on the side of the cake, all the way to the top. All the way around. Okay. I'm going to put it back on the board. And there we have it. That's our Edelweiss torch.